all right welcome back to the channel guys so today we're going to do a bluetooth installation and setup using an he05 instead of an he06 um the he05 is a little bit different from the he06 in terms of pin count as you can see this is a6 this is a5 bought this guy off of um, aliexpress bought this guy locally so i'm just going to show you how you set up this guy as I have seen people set up the HC06 quite a lot on YouTube. So that's not going to be that useful to you guys. So when you have Bluetooth enabled on your ECU, when you have this guy plugged in to your ECU, you will not be able to communicate to the ECU through the port. So you, I, you can use either, but not both. So what right now what I have to do is I have to open up the ECU, unplug it from this plug every time I want to plug in the laptop and do some actual tuning and right now I'm only using the Bluetooth to run my digital dash okay so just to show you guys what I mean you can see the orange lights are flashing right here so and watch what happens if I plug in the Bluetooth module you can see the little light is flashing over here and it just said offline. So what my plan is, is I'm going to install this little on and off switch for the Bluetooth module. And I'm just going to mount that on the outside next to the port right there to switch between Bluetooth and USB wired connection. Another very important thing I forgot to say is that the HC05 as well as the HC06 will not work with iOS devices. So what I did use is a computer plug. This is a power supply plug, which has four pins, and it just plugs in right there, like that. That's what I soldered on on the inside. I'll show you how I did that. So write the password and the username, as well as a couple of internal settings to communicate with this Arduino. So I'm just using my OEM, I mean my OEM. I'm just using my custom ECU to to do the configuration on the modules as I don't have a spare Arduino. So as I did say, I did do a lot of extra work since I last showed you guys this. So I initially I only had this, but afterwards I added these guys on, soldered them straight onto the Arduino, as well as added these wires, these plugs in order to have more outputs and inputs so I just from the ECU I'm just going to unplug the the Arduino like that and that's all I'll use okay so first thing you have to do is open Arduino IDE you can find this on the Microsoft Store it's a free program just download it it's quite large so the next thing you're going to do is plug in your Arduino board into your PC and then I'm going to do right now and, you, and the important thing here to note is that you shouldn't plug in your Bluetooth module so next thing is you're going to go to tools, you're going to board you're going to choose the right board that you're using which is Arduino Mega in my case you're going to the processor processor you're going to click on 80 Mega as well and you're going to select the port that has Arduino Mega uh, written next to it after that you should be all set next thing is you have to upload a sketch so this is the sketch this is the program you have to upload it in order to activate your Arduino to make it usable for setup so as you can see in the right corner is a green bar and on the left it says done uploading okay so I have everything set up um, my VCC just goes to the 5 volt pin on the um, on the Arduino. Ground goes to ground. TX goes to TX goes to TX0. RX goes to RX0. And that's it. And the special thing that's different from the H06 is that the H05 requires you to put a voltage onto the key terminal. So on the key terminal, you have to put a 5 volt or 3 volt to activate the programming the setup mode so what I did is that I just put a wire into the 3.3 volt 
and put it on the uh, key terminal just using another little connector there because I don't have the appropriate connections so let me show you how you know that it actually is connected correctly so when you plug it in you should see the light here on the module flashing slowly every two seconds and that's how you know it's in setup mode see if it doesn't have voltage on the key terminal the light should flash very rapidly about twice a second so for setup mode you need the 5 volts on the key terminal but as you can see there, there's a slow flash right there so now we can transition over to the computer okay so back on the computer we are going to tools serial monitor and you're going to type in capital A T and you're going to make sure that your board rate is on 38,400 and click on both NNL and CR I'm going to type AT and press send which it, the first time it always gives you an error and type AT again send and it should say OK the next thing is you're going to rename it you rename your Bluetooth module this is going to be the same name you're going to use to discover it with your device you're willing to connect to your ECU so to do that you're going to type in AT plus name equal and the next part is going to be the name that you want to give it so I'm just going to set this up as speed we know one send okay so that is its name next thing you're going to set up is the password you're going to type in at plus PSWD equal to in quotation marks you're going to type in the four number numerical password in my case I'm just gonna make it something simple one two three four I just want to say you should make your password secure if someone would be able to access your ECU they could make serious changes to your ECU and damage your engine and I'm going to send that it says okay so now we have our name password the last thing is going to be our board rate type in AT plus UART equals to and then you're going to type in the following numbers 115,200,0,0 you're going to press send okay so we're just going to unplug everything after I've closed the program okay so to connect your Bluetooth module to your ECU the terminals are also different in uh, slave mode so to have um, transmission towards the module you're going to connect TX to RX and RX to TX so you're basically reversing what you previously had and then you're just going to connect the other two ground and 5 volts right here all the way over to 5 volts and ground in the so TX and RX are switched and then they just plug into the ECU the two ways you can do this um, both involve soldering and just a different position of soldering so what you could do is on the back you could solder uh, onto these terminals TX0 and RX0 on the back as well as the 5 volt and ground pins on the back but I chose not to do that because I don't want to touch the Arduino at all I just want to work with the Speedwino component so I know my 5 volt is on top of the red, red wire in my case so I'll just plug it in and that's it as well as plug in my Arduino okay so for my application I use the same Arduino that I used in my ECU to reprogram my Bluetooth module so in my case I had to reload the Speedwino firmware back onto the Arduino after I did the whole exercise of setting up the Bluetooth module and that was about it I just used Speedy Loader and loaded up the appropriate firmware which I previously had okay so since it's outside of the car I have my Bluetooth set up the, car, the ECU doesn't have power from the battery of the car so I'm just going to plug in my laptop to give it power as the laptop also supplies enough power 
as you can see it's flashing which means it's ready to connect so i'm just going to grab okay so we just opened the bluetooth now it's just gonna go to pay a new device while our speedwino is still flashing and as you can see speedwino one popped up you open that click on that Open contains letters and symbols and now access to your contacts. So you're just going to type in the password you just gave it, which in my case was 1234. Okay. Pairing. And there it's paired as one of my devices. So right now I could, I could use real dash to have a dashboard output, a dashboard screen on my phone, getting all this data from my Speedwino. Another cool thing I saw with this is I can actually see the fuel consumption on the car using injector sizes, using injector sizes as well as the uh, injector timing. So yeah, that's about it. That's how I set up everything and it works on my, connected to my phone using Speedwino in an HE05. If you found this useful, feel free to like and subscribe. Peace.